Okay, so you want to know my thoughts on Jan Jansen, Chaos Crafter, as a potential commander. Alright, cool. Let's check him out and see if this uh, gnome can bring it home. For red, white, black, it's a 3-3 legendary creature, Gnome Artificer. It has haste. Tap and sacrifice an artifact creature. Create two treasure tokens. Tap and sacrifice a non-creature artifact. Create two 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature tokens. First, let's go ahead and look at the mana cost. It is red, white, black. That's three mana value. That's just about where we want to be for a commander. So we're actually off to a good start. Next, we look at the power toughness, which is 3-3. Three, three. Now, that's just okay. Honestly, we want to see a creature that has at least four toughness, because with just three, you can get hit with like Lightning Bolt, a Braid. There's a number of cards that deal three damage to a target, so mm, makes him a little brittle. Next on his creature types, he's a Gnome and an Artificer. The amount of synergies with those two are really going to be pretty limited here. I really would have preferred for him to be a goblin instead of a gnome, but here we are. Ah, but he does have one of the best keywords that you want on a potential commander, and that is haste. You want to be able to take advantage of a creature's utility the turn it comes into play. Now the meat and potatoes of this card, which is where you are tapping him and sacrificing something to make some other kind of tokens, I have some thoughts on this. My biggest problem here is that you need to have things already on the board in order for Jan Jansen to start sacrificing to make those tokens. And because you have to tap him to sacrifice an artifact creature to make those two treasure tokens, that's going to limit how much you can use him. That is what I like to refer to as contingent utility. So in order for him to get going, you really need to have things on the board for him to sacrifice and you're going to need some other pieces in order to untap him so you can keep tapping him multiple times to create those treasure tokens. At this point, we've got a lot of cards in Commander that can create treasure tokens. Him only being able to create two, and you have to tap him, wait until your next turn to untap him, use it again, there's not a whole lot of value there. And let's look at his colors. A lot of the synergies that do a lot of untapping are in Simic colors in blue and green. And while we're talking about it, where's the white and the black? Like, I, I can see how this creature could have been mono-red and, and would do all the things on there that I would expect for a mono-red commander to do. This also just doesn't really feel like a Mardu commander. I, I mean, look at some of the other popular ones. You've got Kalia, Alesha, Snapdax, Edgar Markov. Those all feel like Mardu commanders, but Jan Jansen? I don't get his color identity. Sorry, Jan, my verdict is you're late to the party. I mean, maybe three to four years ago when we needed more treasure token creation, you could have been valuable. But here in 2022, we've got too many other options. So my verdict, I would pass. And if you have any potential commanders you would like to hear a hot take from me on, go ahead and post them in the comments and I'll see what I can do.